What's up, you guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another day, and welcome to another j j j j journey with your boy. Check it up. And actually, hold on. Whoa. And for those of you guys that are new to the channel, my name is Charles Wilson. I'm a full-time employee, part-time entrepreneur, and YouTube vlogger. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys get notified when your boy be putting out new videos Tuesday, 9 p.m. every Tuesday. I just said that. But, um, yeah, apologize. I wasn't able to come out with a video uh, the past couple weeks. Uh, just been real busy with the business, king of the game, best in high school sports highlights. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right here. Um, and also, if you guys look in the description, I do have a link to a podcast that I did uh, with AZ High School Rivals. So basically, Rivals, um, their affiliate, their partner um, that cover high school sports in Arizona. They had me on the podcast. I was able to chop it up with them, my boy Cody Cameron. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description for that. So make sure you guys check that out. But oh yeah, just make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for that too, uh, because my business is helping provide a platform for high school athletes in hopes to get or increase their chances of achieving their academic and athletic goals as a student athlete. So appreciate that. But um, let's see. Let's talk about football. So I haven't had a chance to do any like sports vlog or sports anything yet. Um, I know I did the fantasy football thing, which I mean, you guys have checked it out. Hopefully you guys are doing better than I am. A lot of injuries have been screwing me over, but I mean, as fantasy football it happens um, and then, you know, it, it, it is what it is. So hopefully you guys are doing well with that. So let's talk about it. Uh, first, sh shout out to the ASU Sun Devils. 3-0, just got done beating Michigan State in Michigan State or at Michigan State at East Lansing. Um, but they were down. It was actually a pretty good game. If you guys haven't had a chance to check it out, make sure you guys watch the, the highlights for that. As you guys know, I went to Arizona State, Big Sun Devil, Go Devils. And, you know, 3-0, and you know, pretty typical for ASU to start off pretty quick. Um, they were a two-touchdown underdog at Michigan State. And I knew that they weren't going to, um, you know, get blown out like that because they played Michigan tough, Michigan State tough last year. And then they ended up getting the dub. So now they're ranked number 24. Some people don't agree because the week beforehand they had a tough time with Sac State. But it's ASU. Um, ASU tends to play down to the comp level of competition and then play up with the level of competition as well. Um, so it's kind of a mit mixed bag when you guys watch ASU. Uh, but they have a young, talented freshman quarterback, Jaden Daniels. And, you know, he's he's doing pretty good. Again, he's a true freshman. He's not lighting it up. So don't expect a Tua or a Trevor Lawrence. He's a running quarterback. He, um, he has the talent to throw. He can make all the throws, but he's still learning, getting comfortable. Uh, but he's a stud. And I've talked about him in my podcast uh, when I was doing podcasts, Down in Distance, Chuck It Up podcast, you know. You guys can see it. If you guys look at my, my YouTube page and look back a few times, you'll see that I was actually doing podcasts on YouTube, which eventually I'll get back to. But at this moment, a lot of my time is going towards the business. That's where, um, that's where my passion lies, and that's why I've had to cut back on, on vlogging. Um, but anyways, Eagles one-on-one -on -one right now, obviously not ideal for my Philadelphia Eagles. I predicted them to be a Super Bowl team this year, uh, pending injuries, obviously. And, you know, week one, they start off, and I'm going to go on a rant. So if you guys don't like football, if you don't like sports, feel free to go ahead, go to the next one because I need to get this off my chest. Don't worry, next next week I will be doing a vlog or I'll be doing, you know, something similar video. But it will be about politics, voting, um, what, pol what politician I am a fan of at the moment and why you guys should vote so again make sure you guys hit that subscribe button anyways back to the eagles start off the season in or at home against washington down 17-0 you know to case keenum and and washington and they just looked horrible eventually came back carson wentz delivered the goods in the second half defense played a lot better end up winning the game Going on a 32 to seven uh, run to score to end the game, and you know the the second half was fairly impressive. The first half was awful. I mean, it was it was pretty bad, um, but luckily they got their act together. So this game against Atlanta, if you guys are not big football fans, they played on Sunday night in Atlanta. 
a place where you guys know that they pump in fake crowd noise. They've been caught doing it. So it's not like I'm making this up. Um, and it's hard to catch somebody doing that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're still doing it. So anyways, that's, that's besides the point. Atlanta, we played them the last two years. Been very close games, tough games. Last year, I believe we opened the season with them. And then uh, the year before that, we... Uh, played Atlanta in the divisional round of the playoffs with Nick Foles where again it Last year in, the, in that playoff game it ended similar in the red zone where the defense the Eagles defense got a stop The stop that they needed and then this year is a lot different Defense has not been playing, you know, particularly well Ronald Darby's coming back from ACL surgery on his knee and he was getting torched by Calvin Ridley uh, he got beat a few times, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, sorry, fortunately those weren't caught, but the one that he gave up to Calvin Ridley, um, yeah, he, he, he got that business. Gave up another touchdown to Julio Jones. I don't blame him for that one because Matt Ryan had forever to throw the ball, and you can't guard Julio Jones for more than five seconds, so uh, we can't fault him on that. More of the Eagles pass rush, but um, Deshaun Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey both Go down with injuries, non-contact injuries, um, soft tissue issues. So Alshon is going to be missing the first, or he's going to be missing two games, or two, 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 three games. So will Deshaun Jackson. Actually, Alshon is questionable, but it's likely he misses the game with a calf injury this week. And then Deshaun Jackson, two weeks, abdominal strain. It is what it is. Um, so Carson Wentz is going over there with the replacements. No disrespect to Nelson Aguilar. J.J. Arcega-Whiteside, Mac Hollins, but they're not Deshaun Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey. So Nelson Aguilar is legit, but still, he's he's a slot receiver. He's not a number one outside receiver. Um, so for both of those guys to go down in the same game and potentially be out for the next two weeks is, is, is not good. Uh, yeah, so basically... We get down, we, so we keep the game close at half, and then right after the half, Atlanta kicks it off. Corey Clement, who caught the touchdown pass in the Super Bowl, if you guys don't remember, Super Bowl 52, caught the touchdown pass over the linebacker uh, from, from Nick Foles, threw a, threw a right to him, uh, right in the bread basket. But anyways, he was running back, and I kind of seen this one coming uh, because he was running down on kickoff or kick return the whole game very carelessly with the ball. Um, ball out here on his arm, running like this, and gets stripped. So Atlanta recovers the ball right at half, scores a touchdown. And, you know, at that point, I'm kind of like, dang, how we, you know, this is this is not good. This is not a good situation. We kept it close with how bad we played in the first half. And that was, that right there was already like, okay, you know, we played horrible. We might be able to steal this one away because the way we've been playing, we should be getting blown out. Um, luckily for the Eagles, Carson Wentz started heating up. Doug Peterson started running the ball more, which is a whole nother issue. If you guys heard my podcast uh, when I was doing it, Doug Peterson just, I don't really like him as a play caller. Uh, rightfully so. If you guys look at his, his history as a play caller, yes, he you know, led us to the Super Bowl, but I'm starting to think that that was Frank Wright instead of Doug Peterson. But Carson Wentz made some amazing throws. Two, two throws that come to mind that everybody's talking about. One where he's being dragged down, makes the throw to Mac Collins on, I think it was four down where his knees were about to touch the ground. And some way, like, his knees are like this high off the ground. And he's, like, he ready threw it. Um, that was probably one of the better throws you'll see. And also the other one that could have potentially won the game, I'm not going to say won the game, could have potentially won the game, is he threw one to Nelson Aguilar um, right in between the zone, right between the corner and safety with about you know a minute 30 left on the clock. If Aguilar catches it, it's a touchdown. Eagles are up by three for sure. And the reason why I say potentially win because Matt Ryan, minute 30, could have went to overtime. I mean, the Eagles probably would have lost anyways. Um, had Nelson Aguilar caught it, but as an Eagles fan, most of the time when you guys, you know, 
we still want to see you guys make these plays, right? So Aguilar needs to catch that. And then Wentz comes back on a fourth down, fourth and like 16. Atlanta plays six defense, so they have all the defenders on one, you know, right at the line or right at the first down line. And the Eagles do this, you know, the Eagles practice this. Jim Schwartz is is the one I've been the first. He's been the first coach I've seen do it with a defense, and for the most part, it's it's worked. Um, so the Eagles, when they when Atlanta did that, I was pretty comfortable with the Eagles play call because I'm sure they see it a lot in practice. And what do they do? They run streaks with Nelson Aguilar um, coming across the field, and you know Wentz bombs it before he gets blasted. Aguilar catches it first down. And then that was the high point because I'm like, okay, let's win this game. And then low point, Wentz throws it to Zach Ertz. Short of the sticks, Zach Ertz has to run past the sticks for you athletes that are out there. And it's fourth down, third down, whatever. Make sure you guys run, run past the sticks. If you're coming, if, you're, if it's a comeback route, make sure you guys run past the sticks and come back. Don't stop at the line and then come back. You can get tackled short every time. So. Um, yeah, I just need to go on that Eagles rant. You guys know me. Uh, I've been making videos for, for a while, and, you know, I need to have these Eagle videos. So um, this will be a one-off. You know, uh, uh, periodically I'll catch up with you guys during the, you know, random weeks and talk about the Eagles, but this one is one that I wanted to do because it's week two. Um, I wanted to do one before this, the season to actually do prediction, but I figure... Hell, I'll just do it right now uh, after week two. But I appreciate you guys' support. Again, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Next week, we're actually doing one talking about politics. I want to talk about politics, not to convince you guys with, um, you know, who I'm. I'm not going to convince you to vote for who I'm voting for or to, you know, persuade you. I just want to talk about the candidate I, that has caught in my eye and what I look for in a candidate. I think it's different for other people, but I think it's important to talk politics, not at work, because, you know, work is a place of work. You don't want to get into get into it with people that you work with. Uh, obviously, you could, there are certain perceptions come off with um, how people vote, so you don't, you don't want to have that dynamic at the workplace. Uh, but I think it is healthy to talk about, you know, politics and just have a healthy discussion without anyone getting mad, just voicing their opinions and having an intelligent conversation. So, so that's what I plan on doing next week. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get that notification. Like I said, every Tuesday at 9 p.m. with your boy, Chuck It Up, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, as always, action turns knowledge into power, and I'll see you guys next video. Chucky.